everyone. In this video, we're going to take a look at the plugin called Dynamic Widgets. Dynamic Widgets is a plugin which allows you to have complete customization over where and when your widgets appear. Uh, to start, we're going to download it from the uh, plugin directory here. You can just do a search for Dynamic Widgets and it'll be the first thing that pops up. I'm just going to download that. You can also do it from the WordPress dashboard from the plugins menu. So we're going to go to plugins, add new. We're going to upload it because we downloaded it from the website. Upload the entire zip file, click install now, and activate the plugin. So now that it's activated, there's two different ways to manage your widgets. The first being the settings here. This isn't the most intuitive way to use it. I prefer to use the other way, which is managing it directly from the widgets dashboard. So we're going to take a look at that. From appearance, click widgets. And you can see we just have a default installation of WordPress here with the standard widgets. So if you open them, you can now see that there's a new menu for dynamic widgets. By default, they're all set to static. We can click that and now we have all these filters that allow us to sort the widgets and display based on the role, who's logged in, day of the week, what browser they're using, URL, post versus page, etc. So an example of how you might want to use this, say you just have your standard installation here, which by default is going to have whatever widgets you put in appearing everywhere. You see on the home page we have the same widgets that are on a sample page as well as the sample post. So let's say we want the widgets to appear on the sample page but not on our posts. We're going to go into the widget menus. Sorry. Get into the options and we're just going to find this pages here. We're going to click no. And that was for the search widget. So now if we go over to our page and refresh, we can see the search widget no longer appears. And you can go ahead and do that for whatever widgets you want, customize it. It's a really great tool for having complete control. There's a lot on the market, none that I've found work as well as dynamic widgets. That's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching.